I'm at San Juan Islands uh, Distillery, and I'm talking with Susie Pingree, uh, owner, I believe. Yep. And do you also make the uh, liqueurs and gin and cider? Yep, we make everything here. Everything here is made by us, yep. So um, how, did, how did you come into being? What, what was the decision behind? Because I know you're relatively new. Well, we've been walking by our partner's apple orchard for years, thinking how beautiful that orchard is and wondering why that guy wasn't making apple grapes. So we talked him into it about two years ago. We bought the apple cider works, and now we're cider makers, which is wonderful because the cider is delicious, clean, crisp, refreshing, and we pick all the apples ourselves from our own orchard. But the, but the part that we are doing that's really ours is making apple brandy. So we put 50 gallons of our cider in this still and turn it on. It takes about six hours, and we get one gallon of really beautiful apple distillate. We put that in oak barrels and age it. We've got about 100 gallons right now aging in in five French oak barrels. It'll be three to five years for that. So in the meantime, we're doing a really unusual thing. We're taking a byproduct of the apple brandy process and making gin with it. I love it. I, I can't wait to taste the gin. I'm so excited. Um, I, I really enjoyed the ciders, but I... I've spent a lot of time in England, and I, I'm a gin girl, so yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. Well, I'm a gin girl, too. <laughs> I love gin. It is my drink of choice, and so I'm just thrilled that I can make it with our cider, and I can make it here in the distillery. So af after we pull the best part of the, so the eau de vie for really the brandy, sorry, we get a less appley but still very good alcohol chunk of distillate, right. and that we redistill in this still yeah. wow. and pull very high clean alcohol out and then we use that little gin still over there to make gin so we make gin in tiny batches three gallon batches so that means i have to be really careful with the recipe not change it so it's very unusual gin it's tiny batches it's made from cider and most of the botanicals we forage right here on san juan island i love it it tastes like San Juan Islands. I love San Juan Islands. It is one of my favorite places um, any time of year, summer, off-season. I mean, I'm just so happy to hear that, you know, you're kind of using a lot of the local products yeah. and that your still is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Where did it come from? This is a German still. Most of the really good pot stills are made in Germany because they do so much eau de vie okay. in, in Europe. And this one is a very fine one. It's an Alembic pot still because it has this little pad. It's got a short column that helps us refine the just a little, a little bit. We only run one chamber okay. on the column because we want a lot of the apple to come through. But it's a, it's a really great still. It's working very well for us. Okay, well, thank you so much. And uh, cheers, and I'd like to taste some gin now, please. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome.